Hello everyone and welcome back. Tonight's project here I'm going to be putting in or trying to put in a toilet. I know in one of the first videos when I showed kind of a tour of the house I showed this little bathroom here which strangely Jack and Jill's off of this bigger bathroom but I think originally when the house was built that was the only bathroom and this bigger bathroom is something that was added in later because this little room just has this toilet which is ancient I mean it's huge and then it's just got storage over here closet there closet here and then that door is the one that goes into the other unused right now they called it a bedroom but it doesn't have a closet and the way it was set up in there with the electrical stuff I think it was just uh, used for an office but we just had Thanksgiving here and this is something that I bought the toilet for that I'm going to replace this with uh, well over a month ago and I just had it sitting out in the garage and I didn't think it was a big deal because we're going to remodel this whole area and this little bath area here will lose the little Jack and Jill door it'll become a bigger bathroom it'll be just directly off the master bedroom but we had family up here for Thanksgiving and uh, that's when you realize that you wish you had a second bathroom so like I said I bought this toilet over a month ago it's, it's it isn't an expensive toilet but it's a toilet I did actually try pulling this out before once because you know replacing a toilet is a pretty simple job if everything is in good shape but the two bolts that hold it to the floor are all rusted and they just spin so I'm gonna have to come underneath this with a sawzall and cut those bolts off and then remove this toilet Apparently, the plumbing is a little different on this one than I'm used to or else it's just stuck up in there. I think it's just stuck on there. Well, now that I got that part over with, luckily this was a toilet in a box because I had to cut those screws off, which happens a lot when they when the toilets are super old. And the um, wax ring, unless you buy the right one, doesn't come with screws. And I didn't have one that come with screws, but luckily the screws do come with that setup that I that I bought. Otherwise, setting up a toilet is pretty simple. I mean. Everything has to run downhill. You want a tight seal here so you don't get any sewer gases that come out. And one thing, like if you have an uneven floor, which I've run into before in remodeling, uh, one thing uh, that a plumber once told me is put that first wax ring on, which we'll do this in a second, and then if that's not enough, you can lay a second wax ring on top of that wax ring and just goosh it down in there and there won't be any anything that's gonna leak through there you can also buy these that are are extra thick you know that kind of take care of that problem this one is pretty level I'm not gonna have any trouble the only thing I'm actually a little bit worried about with this toilet when we frame a new house from the wall which would be from the not the sheetrock but from the actual stud wall 
to the center of the toilet should be 12 and a half or 13 inches. This one is 11, so that means that when they did it, it was about 11 and a half. So I'm getting really tight. Hopefully it won't sit out a little bit like this, but uh, nothing else I can do. We'll see what happens. Now I'm just putting in those bottom tank bolts. They have a rubber washer that goes through that it has to push through, but you have to use a screwdriver to go through it because it's pretty tight. Well, I'm about to turn the water on, but I'm kind of unsure. You see how that bolt is at an angle because it's so tight to the wall, the toilet? I'm just unsure how that's going to go, but the only way to find out is to turn it on. Pretty slow toilet to fill up. I don't like how this thing can't really go up very easy. I think it should be turned out more. There's hardly any water in that bowl. I mean, it's only up that high. There's got to be a way to adjust that. Okay, so I looked and I think that this hose is supposed to be right in here. Like that. I do see that I have a leak on the floor here from one of them angled bolts, but let's worry about this first. Well, I would say that's much better anyway. It probably came up another half an inch or so. I'd like it to come up higher, but I just don't know. I'm not a plumber. <laughs> Well, for now, I think I fixed the leak. I just had to tighten that thing down.
this little medicine cabinet, I'm afraid, is going to have to go. Wow. Okay, everyone, well, thanks a lot for watching. Everything is nice and clean in here now. It's not a pretty bathroom at all. But if you need to use this bathroom, all you need to care about is that it's clean. You can see that at some time in its history there was a sink here, either a pedestal or maybe even a small vanity. It's hard to say. As old as that toilet is right there, it makes you wonder what year that was put in and how many people used it. I'll see you guys on the next video.